guess what? It's the show's one year birthday today! Thank you so much for supporting Scenes from a Hat for an entire year. We are so happy to be bringing entertainment into your home or computer or telephone or whatever you're using. <laughs> Let's meet today's Minnesota talent for your enjoyment. In chair number one, we have the one, the only, Remy Argenta. <laughs> In chair number two, don't mispronounce her name or she'll pop you one, Miss Sherelle <laughs> Renee Child. <laughs> and in chair number three, sporting the ever festive scenes from a hat formal wear, it's Mitch Young. Oh. And having recently completed a 57-step program, it's Lauren <laughs> Kincaid! <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to Scenes from a Hat, Minnesota's comedy improv show. The way that we play this game is we draw scenes out of this here hat. We have our comic players take a crack at them, but first of all, we have to get them all warmed up, so let's get going with a game of questions only. Let's come on down for a game of questions only. This game is played where we enact a simple scene, but they can speak to each other only in questions. If they would use a statement, I will buzz them, and they will have to go to the back of the line, and the new player coming into the scene will have the next question, but first, from our studio audience, we need a scene for these people. Bowling alley. DMV? I think bowling. we've done that. All right, what was the other one? Bowling alley. Bowling alley. Let's do that one. It's a bowling alley. Take it away. How many pins do I got to knock down here? Can you knock any of them down with that? Don't you see that you're using a baseball? <laughs> Is that why this isn't working? <laughs> Don't you think that we should have a, a tennis ball or? What about a ping pong ball? Hmm. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <clears throat> have you seen my balls? Did you have them with you? Do you have an extra one for me? How's this one? I don't think that qualified as language. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Oh, right. I do have to be somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> have you been touching my 10 pound balls? Don't you know I'm a doctor? Why does that matter when you're, uh, we're bowling? Have you heard that 9 out of 10 doctors are great bowlers? <laughs> what possible research study have you been looking at? Do you want me to show you this cadaver? It's good luck. <laughs> Can I touch it? What do you think? Why are you doing that? Didn't you say I could touch it? Did you know it's opposite time right now? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hide the cadaver yet? Would you want it uh, behind uh, the alley or do you want it uh, in the ball return? Do you think they're going to even let it in the lanes again? It stunk. He was a popular uh, bowler. <laughs> Do you think we could use this cadaver's head as the bowling ball? I think let's try. What is up with that man? Do you think I can bowl a strike with this? Can you even lift that? Why don't you show? Are you going to get that cadaver or not? Do you want to help me bury it? Did you smell it yet? Oh, I thought that was you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. on there? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Only on scenes from 
the heck can you go from bowling to cadaver in one move? Right. <laughs> All right. Let's begin the game. Let's draw the first official game out of the hat. And we are going to start with a game called Quiz Show. Let's set up the quiz, quiz Show, everybody. Yay. Why don't we have uh, Mitch as the, our Quiz Show host. And the way that we play this game is we have an imaginary game show in which the other three contestants are contestants on the game show. And we will have a little bit of fun seeing what they come up with. But first, we need a good game show name from our studio audience. Who's that immigrant? Oh, I, I don't want to get sued on our birthday. All right. And I also don't want to make Donald Trump tweet about us. Exactly. So, How fast is it? What? Hashtag not my press. How fast is it? How, How fast, fast is, is it? How fast is it? All right, let's, uh, let's give it a try. Get ready for a rousing game of how fast is it? And good evening, everybody. Welcome to the game show, How Fast Is It? How fast is it? Yeah, pretty slow there. We are we're here on a TV show where people get a chance to win a ton of fabulous prizes and money, but I don't care, I get paid anyway. So let's get rolling here. Our contestant number one. Who are you and what do you do? Hi, my name's Jerry. I, I'm the meth dealer uh, just outside in the lane across the hall. Oh, you should elaborate on that. Oh yeah, definitely. But please yeah. don't. Mm -hmm. Contest number two. Who are you and what do you do? I'm Ms. Not Quite There. I'm a retired advice columnist. Thank you, Susan. Interesting. The contestant Susan. number three. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do and what is your name? Uh, my name is Baby Girl. Mm. And I eat a lot. That sounds lovely, but, uh, but we have no time for that. On to our game. Our first what? question, number one. You got everybody ready? All right. How fast is it? Got it? So yeah. first question. Yeah. It is a round piece of, piece <clears throat> of stuff. That's what I uh, use uh, to get uh, my stuff off the ground. Huh? We judges absolutely correct. The All stuff right. to get stuff off the ground. You great. Good <laughs> job, guy. Hmm. Next question number no. two. No. It's up in the sky. Huh? It goes at the speed of light, and it is in Donald Trump's pool. Mm. No quest number two. It's a comet, and somebody needs to stage an intervention from it because. It is always going over the speed limit and driving drunk. Ah, uh, very oddly specific, but wrong. Next, anybody to steal? Wee wee my pants. Oh, <laughs> guess the number three for the steal. I, I think it's Batman. Batman is absolutely correct. Oh, yes. No, All right. Oh, no, no, no. And now on to our super super bonus round. It's a speed round, so just buzz in. Let me know. <laughs> That speed? Kind of speed and what's the prize? A speedball. Oh. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. okay. A black, uh, okay. black hockey puck. <clears throat> hey. What? Uh, what I do uh, to cut my stuff? Correct. Yes. Mm. Next oh, one. No. A ping pong ball. <laughs> yes. Test number three. Paddle, paddle, bo bo paddle. That's absolutely correct. The baby yeah, talk no, no. was great. <laughs> Next one. A turtle. Uh, Test number two. We haven't heard from you. What do you want? <laughs> it's driving way too slow in the in the on the interstate, and it's holding up the traffic. And somebody needs to call the police and get it off the road. You just said the secret word of the day, and that's off the road, you win! Yeah, that's number 10! Oh. Thanks for joining us tonight on Love Fast Is It! Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Just chill, just chill. Oh, 
yes, a speedball as the prize. This show is going straight to hell on our birthday. Yeah. All right, let's grab another game out of the hat and see how much further we can plunge into the depths. Okay, this is Mission Impossible. Let's get set up for a game of Mission Impossible. How about we have uh, Remy be the voice on the tape, and let's have Sherelle and Mitch take a crack at the first round here. And this is hearkening back to the TV show of olden times where a mission needs to be solved. How about we get a mundane suggestion? Buying a cantaloupe. <clears throat> Buying a cantaloupe, an oddly specific suggestion, yet rife with comic possibilities uh, on this here birthday show. Buying a cantaloupe, Mission Impossible. Uh, take it away. I think we got another mission. Oh, well, let's see. I got the tape right here. We still use tapes? <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah, let's yeah do it. this is an old office. You know, they, they budget cuts. So uh, here we go. <laughs> chick, chick, click. Good evening, agents. Please sit down. Have a drink. Oh, what are okay. you wearing today? <laughs> uh, women's clothes. Ooh, Ooh. Now that sounds wonderful. <sighs> I was listening. Oh, oh we're listening. recording. Dang it! Oh. <laughs> All right. Good evening, agents. For, uh, you have a mission if you choose to accept it. Yeah, your mission so. is uh, t your mission. I expect all of these interruptions. That's why I do this. In any case, Get on with the it. company on. picnic. <laughs> is, the company picnic is uh, coming up. <laughs> your uh, your job is uh, to bring a cantaloupe, not just any cantaloupe, the most fantastic of all cantaloupes. Mm. It is reef with danger. Sought by many. You have uh, only a couple of minutes uh, to get it, which is kind of odd because I've been talking to you this entire time. Your Let's mission, if you choose to accept it, this mission will self destruct in beep, 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 beep. <gasps> oh, girl, I got rid of that. Wow, that leaves us about 90 seconds. Well, let's get started. All right. Right now. Okay, we got to get to the. Farmer's Market, what do you think? Do we go? Yes, I've got this magic flying broomstick here because the car's just too slow. Oh, here, hey, hop on. let me hop on. All right, here we go. Whoa, look out for the bird! Ah! Oh, jeez! Ah. Okay, okay, we're here. All right. Okay. How do we pick one? Are you supposed to knock on it or something? What do you got there? Count? All right. Is this about the right size? I can fake a pregnancy with that, can't I? Be careful. <laughs> I think that was, I think that was a bomb in it. Oh. Quick, three seconds. Ah! All these traps around here. Okay. Traps. All right, uh, these ones don't look booby trapped. Hmm. All right. Uh, Wait a minute. I got a got a spray can here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go create a diversion. Shh. There. Right. Let's go grab the cantaloupe. Okay. There. All right. Okay. Oh no! You got a watermelon. I don't think they're gonna notice. Yes. Let's okay. just go. We've Perfect. got like 20 seconds left. Okay. All right. We gotta get to the get to the picnic. All right. Get back on the broom. Get back on the broom. Okay. Let's go I the other way. Let's thing. go backwards. Okay. All right. Shh. Flying backwards. Oh. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. I almost dropped that thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you Wait take this? I'm... Wait a minute. I am a chef. And I can cut <laughs> I can cut this thing up in 20 seconds. Is that a good enough? All right. Yes. Um, I think it's supposed to be chopped up. Okay, I'm a professional. Here, here's the cantaloupe. I think Ready? they wanted it as a bowling ball. Oh, oh well. darn it. We gotta put it back together. Oh. <laughs> oh. A rousing game of Mission Impossible. Let us get, uh, let's see. Who is gonna be the tape next? <laughs> Mitch. Let's get Mitch's the tape, and how about we do Remy and Lauren up for a second round here of Mission Impossible, where no comic is left behind, unless it's in the editing room. Okay, we need another mission from the studio audience, a Changing mundane... A what's that? Changing a diaper. Changing a diaper. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. we've actually done that one. Uh, let's, oh. let's do another one. Oh, there we go. L looking for the TV remote control. There you go. All right. Okay. Look, looking for the TV remote control. Take it away. All right, all right. Here we go. The oh. tape. Deuce. I Deuce. know. Deuce. You know what? I've done it so many times. You do the honors. Ooh. I know. 
Hello, agents. <coughs> Ow, that hurt. Hello, <laughs> agents. Glad to, glad to see you here. That's a nice shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is a tape. You can, I can't, you can't see me. So well, anyway. What about my dress? Shouldn't, ta shouldn't be talking to me. You, we have a big, important mission. Should you, uh, should you choose to accept it? The mission is, there is a, there is a missing remote control. A, mm -hmm. the president has a problem and he needs to have the remote control found. He needs to have his R and R to watch the Teletubby show. And if he doesn't have the remote control, an international incident will occur. Your mission is to find the president's vacation home and go locate the remote. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Good oh. job. You are the best at that, boy. I like doing that. I like you doing it. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's go. OK, we should get to that blue house, uh, white house. Wait, but no, it's his vacation thingy. Oh. Isn't that down in Florida where he wastes taxpayers' dollars every weekend? Yes. OK. We should take company jets, shouldn't we? Yes? Yes. OK. Do you know how to fly? I think I know how to fly. It goes like this. What? Watch where your hands are. <laughs> <laughs> I think we landed. I think so too. Yep, we're Bam! Here. All right. Okay. And where is it? Do you see it? There's a. Uh, it's there's orange. A... I know that. Quite a bit. Yes. Okay. Somehow we got to get past all of the Secret Service. Hmm. I think Florida is actually Hi, making me more Melania! intelligent. You look stunning. Selfie. Hey, okay, okay, oh. okay. Where does he keep the remote? Let's see here. Can't be under the couch. Oh, check uh, those uh, documents from Russia. Yes! <laughs> Collusion! <laughs> Nothing? No! Okay, uh. Maybe... Check the false news cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> I found his stupendous! Yay! Oh, no, no, no. He's got a lot of those. Uh, where should we check? Where should we check? Where should we check? Mm. Um, oh, ooh, the secret emails. I bet it's there. I think you're right. Let's do it. Hey, Mr. Putin? Wow. Ooh. Did you know he could bend that way? <laughs> I do now. <laughs> it's out there, though. I know, I know. Mm. All right, OK, so let's check the toilet. Oh, you don't want to look in there. It's, uh, a, it's a dump. Bad seed. <laughs> so, Mr. Trump, when you tweet about us, it's S C E N E F R O M A H A T. <laughs> Let's grab another game out of the hat. Oh, it's superheroes. Let's get up, set up for a game of superheroes. Remy, how about you come down and be our lead superhero? And what we have here is a game of superheroes where a world crisis is about to be solved. So first of all, let us get a good superhero name for Remy. Captain Narcolepsy. Captain <laughs> Narcolepsy. All right, wow. Captain Narcolepsy. And what worldwide <laughs> crisis is Mr. Narcolepsy going to solve? Running out of caffeine. <laughs> running out of caffeine, yeah. Captain yeah. Narcolepsy. That's a running out of caffeine, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Millions would be unable to function worldwide. So let's take it away, Captain Narcolepsy. <laughs> ah, fell asleep on my watch again. Uh, what the? Oh my goodness. Caffeine uh, uh, supply is depleting. Too fast! It was bound to happen. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need uh, some help here. I hope my super friends are arrive in time. I came as quickly as... What? what? I came as quickly <laughs> as I could. Don't do that, Madam Fidget! Oh, oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> the caffeine, it's, it's missing! Oh my god, it is? 
I think I might be partly to blame. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. What Thank can I do? Thank goodness you're here, person who can't find their way around even with Google Maps. Oh, I think you're supposed to be standing over here. Stand over here. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but when did A get here? <laughs> what? I hear there's no caffeine. Yes. Yes. Wait, I, I don't know, know where to find it. Can you tell me where the address well, is? I think I need some help. Can you help uh, me? It, it's uh, two. Oh, thank God you're here. Oh my gosh, it is a uh, dripping sarcasm lady. Please help us. What kind of trouble have you gotten into now, you nerds? <sighs> you're being a little mean right now, but I need, we need to go get some, get the caffeine. <laughs> caffeine, why? Why do we need caffeine? <laughs> look, we need, look. Are we running out of caffeine? Oh, we're running out of caffeine. Oh, I don't oh. know where that is. Oh, let me, let me go to the bathroom here. Whoops. Oh. Um, it's that way. This way? Yep. No, that that's way. not what the map says. That's not the what the map says. The map's wrong. You can't even read this? it anyway. What it's is caffeine! This? Wait a minute. You have this like caffeine! Wait a minute. Oh my god. Give it back. I can probably make caffeine. That's not where it says. That's can... not what the directions say. We got it. We can uh, probably yeah, synthesize Starbucks, a new can you caffeine out of this. Up the Brilliant. caffeine production. <laughs> all right. Put our powers oh. together. If we put our powers together. There we go. It works! It works! Alright. My Fantastic. tedious job is done. Mm. I'll just uh, mo find my address out of here. Mm. All right, uh, I'll just play with this doorknob and see if it opens. Oh, yes, it worked, yay. A wonderful day for all. I can't uh, wait until the next one. And <laughs> see. <laughs> Well, thank God that's solved. Yeah. <laughs> Starbucks would have gone out of business in about 30 seconds. Let's grab another scene out of the hat and find out what's going on now. It's Changing Lines, everybody! <laughs> this is our uh, player's favorite game here on, cha on uh, Scenes from a Hat, Changing Lines. How about we have Sherelle and Lauren? Why don't you take a crack at this first here? And changing lines is a way where we play a simple scene, and when I say change, they have to change the last thing that they said to something a little bit more outlandish, and we up the comic stakes, and hilarity ensues. But first of all, from our studio audience, we need a simple scene. Beauty salon. A beauty salon. There we go, a beauty salon. Take it away, changing lines. I love your doo-doo. I know. I mean... I started at like six in the morning just to get all these curls in and I didn't even have to stick my finger in an electric socket. <laughs> that is so revolutionary. Change. That is like stupid as hell. Change. <laughs> that is the best source of energy. Light sockets are the energy of the future. Yeah, like if we all just stuck our fingers in them, then we'd all have curly hair. And Change. If we all just stuck our fingers in them, then we'd achieve world peace. Change. If we all stuck our fingers in them, then we could all just go to Mars and have an awesome party. I would love to go to Mars and have an awesome party. Change. We... I would love to go to Mars and marry a Martian. Change. I would love to go to Mars and eat all the cheese that's there. Let's try it. <laughs> I okay. bet it's even better than Wisconsin. Bet it is too. What kind of cheese do you like the best? I like blue cheese. Change. Uh, I like, I like cheese that's been aged for several years and had mice crawl all over it. Change. I actually don't like cheese. I think I might be lactose intolerant. <laughs> well, then why are you searching for cheese on Mars? Well, maybe the cheese on Mars doesn't have lactose in it. And see. <laughs> All right. I don't know if they can uh, follow that act, but let's see if they can. Remy and Mitch, come on up for a game of Changing Lines. And we need another simple scene for the gentlemen's. Job interview. They're, they're in the bathroom, so waiting in line in the bathroom. Oh, we've already gone to hell too much already. Uh, what was the, the job interview? Is that what you, okay, uh, job interview. Changing lines, take it away. Hi, uh, Hi. nice to meet you. Uh, gotta tell you, I'm a little nervous. Change. Gotta oh. tell you, I farted just out in the hallway. Change. Oh. I gotta tell you, I'm going batch nuts. 
<laughs> well, well, don't be nervous. You know, you'll start as a janitor and you'll work your way up. Change. Well, you'll start as the CEO and you'll just kind of, you know, sit in the chair all day. Change. Oh, and you're going to start as a, a bucket and then grow into a tree. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, does that come with benefits? Change. Oh. Now, I've got to ask, what's the salary? Change. I've got to ask, will uh, things be poured into me? Change. I gotta ask, can I get drunk on set? Change. I gotta ask, will I have to deal with that guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a brewery. This is a brewery, so drinking is encouraged, and you will be expected to be very drunk, yes. Change. This is a brewery, and you're expected to take all the beer and make fuel out of it. Change. This is a brewery, and you're supposed to pray in church in our chapel. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Are clothes optional? The clothes, you need to wear a Victorian gown. Change. You need, you need to make sure you wear a janitor suit. Change. You need to make a, a clown costume. Change. You need to, you need to wear Nothing at all. <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> 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 That's two great games of changing lines that you just saw. Let's give a hand to all our players there. What a way to start out our recording day. Very good, everybody. Let us grab another game out of the mystical orange hat that you just never know what's going to come out of it. It is courtroom. Let's set up for courtroom, everybody. How about we have uh, Sherelle be our judge. Lauren be our prosecuting attorney, and Sherelle, you're going to need this, oh, because yes. no judge could be without that. And uh, Remy and Mitch will be cycling in as witnesses for or against the prosecution, as the case may be. But we need a good uh, uh, case name here, so how about the case of the missing what? Munchkin. What? Munchkin. Munchkin? The case of the missing munchkin. Oh. Take it away. Oh. All right, order, order. <laughs> yes, I know I'm a little green and the hat's a little pointy, but I am the judge here and I expect your respect in this land of Oz. All right, so I hear one of the munchkins is missing. We've got a lot of them, so we can make do without them, but we're just trying to keep things proper here. So, I would like to call up prosecuting attorney, what was your name again, Don? My, my name is, is, is Scared uh, Leon. Scared Leon. Okay, Ms. Leon. Right. Yeah. Would you like to call up your first I witness, would. Please? I would, I would, I would. Uh, hey, uh -huh. yes, this, have you seen Munchkins? Well, first I saw a munchkin, they were over there. Then I saw another munchkin, they went over there. <laughs> but they're everywhere. Oh, <laughs> that sounds good. We're looking for just one. I object, Your Honor. That's leading. Objection overruled. Oh, Whoa. I'm scared. Whoa. Whoa. Next witness? Yes, Next uh, witness. Lion Scarecrow, I've had quite enough of him. Oh, Hello. Rios. Yo, oh. ho, Oreos. Munchkins, munchkins. Yo, oh, ho, oh, 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 oh. oh. I did not see a munchkin. I've oh. been working. Uh, I've been working uh, at my guard station this entire time. No munchkins uh, happened to pass by. Although there was this uh, small little kid. You say a lot. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 Sorry. I. I I thought I had narcolepsy there for a second. Okay, don't make me get my I, flying monkeys. I'm gonna do this. We need a munchkin. We need a munchkin. Hello, I'm a munchkin. Are you the missing one? Uh, no, but I uh, got a few in my trunk. Oh, you okay. You looking for one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The missing one. The missing one. Hurry, come on. I'm not gonna what fail at this. I'm not gonna fail at this. I think we remove her from the court, Your Honor. Remove me. I 
remember, I have magical powers. And seeing as nobody knows where this magical munchkin actually is, I am just going to use my magic wand to turn you into the munchkin and problem. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> I would like to take a moment to thank our sponsors on Scenes from a Hat. Gotta get a t-shirt.com and Princess Cheesecake. Oh my. Thank you. <laughs> for supporting Scenes from a Hat on our birthday show! <laughs> All right, I think we got time for one more game. Let's grab it out of the hat. It's Strange Newscasters! Let's get set up for Strange Newscasters. Strange Newscasters is a game where we have an imaginary news program on which a program is being reported. We have an anchor played by Lauren Kincaid. We have an expert on the topic being discussed. That is Sherelle Renee Childs. We have a reporter in the field played by Mr. Mitch Young. And he is going to be interviewing Remy Argentum, who will be many different characters. Now, we need a good topic for a news report, perhaps a limerick or a nursery rhyme. Noah's the dad was found in a bowling alley. <laughs> I like the Noah's Ark one. We haven't done that one yet. So let's report on Noah's Ark. And where's that button? Here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Lisa Mulaney Maney Wayney, and we have a crisis today. Noah's Ark has been hit in an accident by an ard bark. <laughs> and here to talk about it is experts not only about Noah's Ark, but aardvarks as well. Hello, please introduce yourself to our audience. Hi, I am Angela DeVille, and as you said, yes, I am an expert on aardvarks, yes. arcs, and artifacts, but we'll leave that last one out. About the but accident, how do, how, what, what's the devastation, in your opinion? Well, it's very devastating devastation because as, oh. as is common knowledge, aardvarks get very excited when they get too close to giraffes. And the giraffes were having a bit of an argument which yep. greatly disturbed the aardvarks. And they're already in close quarters and around these giraffes all the time. And so... And then I heard, I heard that all the animals... And then, and then okay, let's go out to our reporter in the field. Yo, yo, are you there? Hello, Anchor. I couldn't hear a thing you're saying. My uh, finger's in my ear, but we have a witness here who has <laughs> saw the whole thing. Tell me, what do you think of the whole calamitous situation? Well, I got to say, it was rather difficult to see such an arc get hit by that aardvark. Oh! It was terrible. <laughs> I mean, you would think that a boat, you would think that a boat would uh, be able uh, to handle uh, such a, huh? such a problem. <laughs> you know, you think it would be designed to handle uh, such a thing. Those fools uh, who uh, designed that, uh, that arc. I don't understand what happened to this and what is happening to you? Oh, I have, uh, I'm a little jittery. I've, I've just quit smoking. But I think we got to go back to the station. The station man, who, woman, go ahead. I can't hear you because you're a dunce. But, <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, idiot that built the ark, based on blasphemous <laughs> statements, what do you think our resident expert? Well, the problem is he misread, Noah misread the text about how to build the ark, he saw that he thought he was supposed to use a wood called gopher wood. Like, who uses something that called gopher wood? Like, it's chewed up by gophers. And he was <laughs> supposed to use aardvark proof wood. But What did he use instead of all that stuff? Yeah, he used the gopher wood. He was supposed to use the aardvark proof one. And oh, I got it now. <laughs> and <laughs> since it wasn't aardvark proof, it was very susceptible to attacks from flying, angry, giraffe-frightened aardvarks. And that's exactly what happened. 
Here at Investigative News, we found out the truth again. That's all the time we have on Scenes from a Hat. Happy birthday, Scenes from a Hat. Thanks to our show's creator, Steve Murphy. I'm Nathan. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.